Dusk Wood has spent the early morning organizing all the supplies she's gained. She carries in her position a solar panel array that she'll be looking to set up outside. And after she's done that, she's going to need to check on her brother, see how he is doing, and plan what their next journey is going to be. They still require a cordless drill. Some tanks of acetylene would not go amiss. Looking at her map, the information that she's been able to gather so far. She's aware that there are a number of fire stations and garages to the southeast in a town called Lincoln, or a section of the mega city called Lincoln. It is dense there, however, so the woods will have a hard time getting what they need. It is also morning, so no doubt it would make more sense for them to wait here for the day, plan and prepare and do as much as they can before they move on out. As as much as Elliot is capable, a journey that far without Dusk at his side could spell disaster. And so, it is with that that Dusk prepares to get the array set. Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. No hope. Where I'll show you the little plan that I have here. So, Lincoln, this area over here, we can pop out of the subway station here, which I know we have done before. There's actually quite a few different subway stations around here at the moment. Like, there's a lot of them around here. So lots of different points that we can pop up. But I'd probably want to pop up right around about here for a few reasons. We have a museum just down here, which is great. We also have a garage, also, also great. We have four, actually, four fire stations that are just scattered around this region here. Why I think they could be useful is that the power is that at the fire station up by Millis, we were able to find a welding tank up there. So I'm hoping that there will be a chance for us to find them here as well. Also, also, in Lincoln, we do have this uh, urban city block, which does go pretty high up. So we'd be able to get some pretty serious uh, sight of the area. No, nowhere near as much as like the radio tower, uh, but pretty, pretty close. So if we can kind of do all of this stuff throughout the night, and then here to here, just as morning is dawning, then I think we will be good. At least, that's the plan. So to begin with, we do need to head outside. So let's go and wield that umbrella. And we are going to expand that. There we are. All right, so the array we're probably going to set up. Actually, let's close the door. Let's just get in the habit of making sure that that's closed. Uh, the array we could have kind of go around the side here. Um... Eventually we will set up all these other bits and pieces. Stop hauling that for the moment. We actually have the hacksaw as well, so we should be able to take a few things out of the vehicle during the day. I think we'll probably try and go to sleep around about 12. We'll see. It's still very early morning for dusk, so I know she's going to be good to do this for a little while longer. So yeah, we're going to be typing in solar. We're going to place the solar array just down here, and that should connect up just fine. Okay, so nine weeks until full, <laughs> because we have a really really large battery bank going at the moment what would also be good for us to set up out here is one of the battery rechargers i am reasonably sure that we have one of those inside so i might go try and see if we can uh track that down before we do anything else battery charger okay on the display rack okay so a small device for recharging batteries given a source of electricity it could easily be wired into a vehicle with power it will slowly charge all rechargeable batteries battery cells, etc. when placed within its storage space. It can only be installed onto existing storage compartments. Okay, so if we have a trunk or something like that, we can put the battery charger in there and then charge up all of our batteries that we have. And anything else I think that we have uh, the right modification for. We still don't have this vehicle hooked up to here and I'm thinking it is a problem with the batteries on this thing so i'm going to try and see if we can get some of these pieces removed so let's go through here large storage battery draining so we have a hacksaw now it's only going to take us four minutes to chop that on out of there but we can do that without too much trouble we're going to do the same thing down here and we'll probably just straight up remove the security system it is already damaged ah we can't we need electronics 4 to be able to do that so that is a no-go for us but going through the rest of the place here we have the medium storage battery in there at the moment so we do have a battery that is working um everything else i think we should just be able to kind of heal over time or try and remove it we have the trunk back there so we could look at installing a battery charger in the trunk i think 
I think I'd like to have a look at doing that. So this one here specifically, battery charger. Okay, it'll only take us four minutes to do that. And that shouldn't be too difficult for us to do unless we fall asleep, uh, just like that. Uh, let's try that again, Dusk. Battery charger. There we go. Okay, we have that installed now in the electric sport sedan. And what I'm going to try and do, um, so I think it's going to be tool magazines is what it's called. So if we go down here and then let's see. Yeah, the battery charger is on that square. We are going to add to the zone here tool magazines okay so at the moment we're just kind of keeping them there we're going to shift this we're going to move that position all the way down to here like so and let's save those changes and now if i go sort out all of our loot we should go back in there grab a few things um not sure if we actually did manage to get everything there oh it looks like some things have been moved so all right let's just pop out head around the side here and see what we got okay we have Lots of batteries in there. We're also going to have things like gas mask cartridges because those are considered tool magazines. We do actually have a welding tank in here. A welding tank with 1400 acetylene, which is a damn good start for making modifications to this vehicle. Obviously, there's a lot here that needs to be taken care of. Oh, we actually have another large storage battery in here. So I had quite a few of them to begin with. Yeah, let's get that out of there as well. And another one over here too. Yeah, so many. <laughs> We've got the enhanced electric motor at the back there. Now I've been told that that is quite power hungry. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. I think we're gonna be able to get enough in the way of battery power in here, but obviously there is that kind of trade off of battery power versus um, weight. And I think we should actually be able to install one of the batteries that we took off. So yeah, we can install the medium storage batteries easy as, but I wanna try and see if we can get one of the large ones specifically. Oh, actually, you know what? <laughs> Taking apart that large one, we get four perfectly good medium storage batteries. Uh, so that's kind of handy. That's good to know. And theoretically, we can turn those into a much larger battery. So it's kind of the same deal here as well. Yeah, so having a look, we've got these very large grid batteries set up here. Um, we could try and take one of those out of the sequence. So this one here specifically, um, because then I don't think that's going to interrupt things because we don't have anything else linked up down here. So yeah, let's have a look at you. We're going to take down this appliance. Yep, take it down. Okay, um, all these other batteries should still be connected up. It looks like they are. Yeah, and all these panels are still connected. Okay, so excellent. It actually does have some charge already, which is great. And we've got an engine here, an alternator. Oh, hang on. I did have an engine. I knew I had an engine somewhere. God damn it. <laughs> well, we have two, two 1.6 litre engines now. So we could also set up another one there. We, I feel like we've got enough um, potential fuel to be able to kind of get that going. Uh, but yes, I would like to try and see if we can install that large one over here in the vehicle. Um, so maybe just underneath the seats, if that's possible. Swappable large storage battery. So for us to put the swappable one in, that is going to still require the battery case. But if I just search, but if we search just for large, as in large storage battery, okay. Ah, it's the welding rods, etc., that we need. So we, we have our acetylene torch. We do actually have enough charges for that. What we don't have is welding wire or a welding rod. So can we make any of those at the moment? Theoretically, yes. We do need to have an anvil, which we found just recently. But you know what? I think if we were to try and do any of this kind of work, we should just do it at the Elf Workshop. They should theoretically have everything that we would need to be able to make these things. Obviously, it would be a lot easier if we could find them. Bread flour or paper. Yeah, okay, there's, there's, there's a fair bit that goes into making them. So ideally, just finding some would be great. So we can't go and get that stuck into the vehicle just yet. Okay, that's fine. I would still love to be able to hook this up. And I do wonder, I was trying to hook the jumper cable up to these solar panels. Maybe we have to just try and get it actually hooked up to one of the batteries. That could have been the mistake that I was making. So let's go and grab the jumper cable here. And we will start by trying to connect it to the vehicle. So activate jumper cables. We do have some heavy duty ones as well. Maybe we'll go for heavy duty. So let's attach. And then it just, it, it's weird. It says never mind when we're doing the vehicle, which is very strange. Let's try the heavy duty. 
attached to a vehicle battery or appliance, neat, we've connected it to here, we go over towards the vehicle, and we go to the one that is currently active, we can see how far it can stretch, attach loose end to vehicle battery or appliance, and we don't have any means to do that. So where on the vehicle is our current battery? It's on the other side, so it's kind of right by the windshield here. That's where it is. Okay, so we might have to be right next to it. So here's what I'm thinking. This is still active. Yeah, we climb inside here. We go right over to where it is. We activate this, attach. We have to be right next to it. Okay. <laughs> We've got it running through the vehicle here, but we have this connected now. Two seasons until full. Okay, we'll, we'll see about that. Um, because obviously we've just connected this whole grid up to here now. And that's just a medium battery. The problem is it's going to try and fill these large grid batteries first, which it will be able to do eventually. Uh, it's just going to take time. So obviously one of the ways that we can try and speed that up is by grabbing things like this, bringing them around to the other side here. We're going to stop hauling for a moment. So we have our engine here. We are going to need an alternator of some kind. And then we're also going to need to try and find a way to attach the metal tank to here. So let's examine the vehicle and let's see car alternator. We want to make sure that we're installing the correct alternator um, because we do have a few of them around here. So this one here is quite damaged. I wonder if we could just take that one apart easily enough. It would take five minutes and we would get a power converter and a few other bits and pieces uh, back from that. We are going to have to put our umbrella away for a moment. Okay, and that's right. The sun is burning us though, so let's immediately get that umbrella back out. There we go. There we go. The sunlight burns on your right arm. Yeah, we are a freaking vampire. We need to be much more cautious there. Let's examine the vehicle and car alternator. We're going to go and install that. And Dusk has finally started getting tired, which is good. It is 7.41 at the moment. I'm going to see if we can just push on for a little bit longer. And let's see what else we need to use to install a tank here. I think it is going to be welding related things no it's the drill of course so that is what's holding us back there so we're, we're pretty close to being able to get everything going um i wouldn't mind trying to see if we could get one other frame set up here which we do have some planks we do have some nails for us to make a basic wooden frame it's 35 minutes five planks five nails or 20 nails rather and we nearly have enough nails there okay all right we've definitely got more nails inside yeah we're just gonna grab an extra 10 Head back outside. And you know what? It would probably make sense for us to try and do this crafting inside because we're more than likely going to have to put our umbrella away. So we'll just make it here as we will be out of the sun. Oh no, we can do it just fine. All right, wooden frame, follow me. Okay, so just to the east of this here, we are going to want to try and install a new frame. All right, we just need some more nails. <laughs> of course we do. Okay. Oh, we can just install... All right, wooden frame, let's get that made. And we're just going to make that a basic vertical frame. And on this frame, we are going to install an engine. Hang on, mechanics eight? For, oh, for extra engines, I see. We're not quite there yet. Very well, we have everything that we need to be able to get this extra engine installed. And the reason why I'd wanna have more than one is that we don't want the gasoline generator to be a slow trickle of power over time. We wanna burn up as much of that gasoline as possible, as quickly as possible, to charge up the various batteries that we've got. So we've got a, a large storage battery that has a decent amount of charge up here. We've got all these medium storage batteries, which yes, we could attach the grid, but I think let's just charge some of these up first of all, and then see how we go from there. Dusk will need to rest now. So we're going to head back inside. We're going to have a really decent meal, as decent as we can. And you know what? We could actually try and cook, couldn't we? Um, so appliance has no connection to the battery. Interesting. Okay. Let's just plug you into the fridge. Never mind. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Plug an appliance, plug in the stove. I think that worked just fine. Yep. Okay. It's working now. Uh, strange. So I think, unfortunately, there may be an error where things kind of get disconnected when we leave and then come back. So that might be something that I just have to kind of check on occasionally. Also, I don't believe the refrigerator is turned on at the moment. We don't really need it to. We don't have too many perishable things in there currently. Uh, but I would love to actually cook some food if possible. And it, there isn't actually much that we can cook. We can make toast, which is kind of wild. But we can also make things like a PBM, which is, oh, peanut butter and maple syrup. I mean, I feel like that is certainly better than nothing. 
Yeah, let's go and make that thing. Use the wheat bread nearby, the peanut butter spread, lovely. And let's go and munch on that dusk. Nice. What else can we make, if anything? Ah, of course, we can go for a cheese sandwich with our two crackers that we've got there. Delicious as it is. And then we've got other things that we can heat up, should we desire. Uh, we definitely want to eat a little bit more in the way of calories. We haven't had too much coming in at the moment. But yeah, um, you know what? Maybe, maybe we're just going to go for a protein drink. Let's go for six lots of that and we'll pour it into a container, plastic canteen. There we go. Okay, so it's in a plastic canteen somewhere. We actually can't see it right now, so we, we don't know where it is. It is a container, so it might actually be over here. It's not here. Okay. Searching for protein just gives us ibuprofen currently. We definitely made it. We poured it into the plastic canteen. It's not a plastic canteen that we have with us because we're using the hydration pack at the moment. Oh, okay, it's over here. Interesting. Protein drink. Okay, we're going to go and knock that back. It doesn't give us that much in the way of joy, but it does give us calories. And we're just going to kind of drink as much as we possibly can there. We have consumed more calories than we have expended. So that's good. That is good. That's what we want to see. And now... We're gonna go to sleep. Um, this shouldn't be drawing anything really. There's a decent amount of wattage going to the batteries now, which is great. Oh yeah, and we have our food dehydrator here. If we do wanna dehydrate meat in a hurry going forwards, let's go put that umbrella away for now, back into our pack, and we'll just keep wearing our pack for now. Elliot is still asleep, if you would believe it. We've been gone for quite a long time, and that boy is still asleep. I don't know if he has, oh no, he's certainly changed. <laughs> okay, so we can't see over the side here, but we can see on a sprite. He has a decent tail there. So when we wake up, we'll check on Elliot. For now though, Dusk, it's time to sleep. Wakey, wakey, Dusk. She rises to Caterpillar, nudging gently against her face. Let's play with Caterpillar for just a moment here as Elliot eats some of his delicious smoked meat. Now Dusk, unfortunately, mutated during the evening and she mutated a weak stomach uh which is unfortunate we're more likely to throw up from food poisoning alcohol etc now dusk generally doesn't overindulge too much so that shouldn't be as much of a problem elliot though let's have a look at you let's see what we have going on here so um fast reflexes pretty sure you had that before everything else is similar here apart from ah thick tail you have a long, thick, lizard-like tail. It helps you balance a bit, but it also makes a serviceable whip. Prevents from wearing non-fabric pants. Well, he doesn't actually wear pants at the moment, so that's not so much a problem. Oh, okay, nope, oh, we've got something else here now. Um, right, hemovore. You can still eat other food, but you crave the taste of blood over everything else. Without a steady supply of some kind of iron supplement, you're prone to developing anemia. Okay, so you're getting a little bit of the vampirism from, um, from Dusk. Interesting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Gosh, there's a lot of mutations going on here, Elliot. There is a lot going on here, buddy. <laughs> right. Um, and looking at his stats, he's also got 15 intelligence. Very nice, my friend. Very, very nice. You do have scurvy, though. So that is a bit of a problem. So I, I don't know if we can kind of convince him to have some multivitamins. But we could try by giving him some. It doesn't actually look... Oh, no, he's got two in his small plastic bottle at the moment. You know what? One moment. Okay. Um, Elliot... Let's go and eat those multivitamins, like, right now. Thank you very much. We're actually going to take Elliot downstairs as well and get him to, um, quickly, we'll just close that behind Dusk there, have some more multivitamins. Looks like he does need to have a little bit of a drink as well. You know what? Have the rest of that protein drink. He can actually have that, which is good. And then heading over towards the fridge, we're just going to unload the rest of the clean water. Actually, hang on. Let's get you to just grab that canteen, I think, because I don't think you... No, you do have a canteen. Okay, so clean water, unload that, pour it into your plastic canteen. Oh, you're wearing the hydration pack. Well, Pour it into that then. All right. And we'll just drink the uh, clean water that's in the fridge. And maybe knock back that energy collar as well. There you go, lad. And then we're going to drink, or rather eat, some more multivitamins. And we want to go until he's had a considerable amount. Vol vitamin C, none. So are you getting no vitamin C from the multivitamins? Because that's unfortunate um, and kind of concerning for someone that can't actually eat fruit. <laughs> um, right then, 
Do we have any specific vitamin C medication? I don't think we do. Yeah, um, I guess he's going to have scurvy for a bit then. Either that or his body just is incapable of taking it on, which is possible. But back in the shoes of dusk, we need to make sure that we're having something to eat before we hit the road. So let us go and yet again, this is also not plugged in. This, ah, that's frustrating. Okay, so we need to plug that in to here now and now we can go and turn on the overhead lights and is this still plugged in yes it is okay that's good so um we should be able to just reheat with a pan that we've got nearby you know what i legitimately don't know if we actually have any cooking supplies here fry pans or anything else like that so that could be restricting massively what we're actually able to cook we can use the soda can kit here i think to just try and heat with that but then i'm also not seeing the things that i actually want to heat okay then fine <laughs> let's go for the potatoes here we could just knock back some broth we're actually hydrated at the moment so we don't need to worry about that I'll just have some straight up pesto um we'll just have a little bit because it does give us some joy, but then that joy does eventually go away. We'll have the gelatin dessert here, have some chocolate drink, and then we've got some peanut butter that we can have just to give us a little bit more. 6,000 calories, we're feeling full at the moment. That's not a good dinner. <laughs> it is not in the slightest, but that's okay. Um, I would be intrigued to see how much more charge we have gotten in our batteries here, actually in the vehicle as well, seeing as it's kind of hooked up now. But uh, yeah, I just wanna make sure that we've got everything that we're gonna be good to go. Um, first of all, let's make sure that we put our pack back into our lifting field. There we go. And having a look at dusk, um, hang on, let's just give it a second here. Okay, there we go. 10 torso encumbrance, 15 on the leg is a bit much. And that's kind of coming from, well, just everything that we have on there. We do have the leg ammo pouches on there, which maybe we don't need. Also, the army pants are carrying a bit as well. We have a holster here that's apparently empty. Um, oh, because Dusk has taken her Glock out of it at some point. We're wielding it, I see. She does have a habit of doing that whenever we uh, change away from her. And let's make sure that we change back the Tai Chi too. There we go. A gentle stance preparing to defend ourselves. All right. Okay. Let's actually just take the planks away while we are away. Um, that one's already taken away. Good, 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 good. Okay. So having a look at our vehicle here, 15% battery. That's really good. It is just a medium storage battery. So that's not a massive amount of charge, but that's still okay. And up here, 15% battery of everything. Okay then, uh, do we want to bring the wheelbarrow with us? This one's pretty messed up. We do have the other one that's up here. That's in much better condition. You know what? I think that's the one that we're going to bring. Um, <laughs> so we are going to need to place a plank here again. Uh, let's grab that, drag it outside, swap positions with Elliot, close that up and remove the plank. Okay. All right. Don't mind me, Elliot. Here we go. So we should be able to um, keep pace with Elliot, I think. We do need to plan exactly which way we want to go here to get down into Lincoln. So we used the subway tunnels last time to get over here. So we went to this area specifically to get to this library. There were fungal flowers by it and there is a nest of a kind. So let's have a look at the subways. Let's have a look at these series of subways. And okay, so yeah, it's a bit of a journey for us to do it that way. I do wonder if it would just be easier for us to go overland because it's kind of a straight shot along this road all the way to Lincoln. We could just hit up the fire stations on the way in. We do have the elf workshop here as well that we encountered. And we do have some thugs in this house here. So we'd want to be wary of that. And that was the other magicalism cabin that we'd discovered. Okay. I think that's what we're going to go for. What's the S here out of curiosity? Scientists, several scientist corpses. Okay, so let's try and see if we can weave our way through the forest. We are going to need to be wary that we can run into some pretty nasty things. I'm just going to just move naturally here to see if Elliot can keep up. He can kind of. It does look like we have to wait for him occasionally. Oh, that was a turkey, I think. Hello, turkey. Yeah, and that was a... um. Achillosaurus. Hi there, friend. Large and stocky rhino-like dinosaur. Yep, 
it's friendly for now, that's all that we need. So if we turn on our auto travel mode, that should make moving through here pretty easy, even when we're carrying something. And we can actually see the path that we've walked before. So I think we're gonna try and take that exact path or as close to as we can. Um, oh, <laughs> right. Maybe it is a little uh, more difficult than I thought to navigate with this uh, wheelbarrow behind us. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know what, I think we're just probably gonna have to smash a few bushes along the way, and that's fine by me. It's actually easier to move without the um, auto travel on, I'm finding, because then we can kind of just like direct where we want the wheelbarrow to be. Oh, okay, and we're seeing a famine. I don't know where exactly, and I don't know what a famine is. Okay, it's here. A cow-sized yellow and brown mutated locust with huge staring eyes and long powerful legs. The bane of the post-apocalyptic farmer. Okay, it's much slower than us and it can't see our current location. I don't know whether or not it is aggressive, but my gosh, it is absolutely massive. We're gonna send that hurtling back towards the tree here, doing a fair amount of damage to it. It is trying to flee right now. That thing is huge. Um, <laughs> yeah, really is. Okay, that's kind of disturbing. Uh, I do wonder if the sound that we're hearing to our southeast is another famine, possibly. We've actually made it to the edge of the forest now, finally. That actually <laughs> took way longer than I thought it was going to. Um, we are still going to head down towards the elf workshop here, so we'll just kind of continue down across the field here. And something that I'm noticing about Elliot is that he is completely silent now. Like, he was kind of quiet before, but now he's just like, completely silent. Also, are we still seeing your tail? I think we are. It's just a little difficult to make out in the darkness. Hello, Raven. Okay, back into the woods we go. Oh, and here's the, uh, okay. <laughs> here's the workshop, and we did pass out briefly there on the ground. That's fine. That's totally fine. How's that, uh, the creature, the, the body of it? Um, I'm pretty sure we smashed it to pieces and maybe dragged it out their workshop here. They seem to be pretty chill for the most part. They do have anvils here. Let's actually just see what else they've got um, here, just so we know going forwards. They also have demon forges. It did were they always demon forges? Yep, demon forge. This is a forge made of the chitin of a huge red spider that has a pennant for flames. Custom made to withstand the heat from aluminium. This forge can re-smelt the magical metals into their workable ingot form. Well, that's super freaking cool. So we've got demon forges here. Uh, that's great to know, elves. What else do we have? We've also got a joiner here. It would need to probably be plugged into something. We've got a drill press as well. Um, it looks like there's a lot of things in the corner here. So this is probably quite a good spot. Router table as well. Yeah, you elves, you, you got this place tricked out pretty, pretty well. Uh, we got our dive bag back there. Okay, so we are close to where we need to be, which is actually just uh, this road here. Yeah. So really close. Is there anything else that we want to check out while we're moving along here? Furniture store? No, not really. It's an apartment tower. Public space. Yeah, really, it's just going to be the fire stations as we start to come close to them. The police stations are maybe. Not super convinced that we're going to find anything there. There are hardware stores as well, so we could also check them. We are trying to find a drill, remember? Oh, and I suppose before we get into the thick of it, Elliot, what are you wielding right now? Your bayonet. Okay, that's good. And right here, we've got dirt. Okay, so we're coming up on some, uh, an open sewer. So we can actually find tools here. So it might actually be worth us having a look around the yard to see if we can find any workers or any of their supplies. We've got a wheelbarrow. Um, is it better than the one that we currently have? Not really. Ours is in pretty good nick. So we'll, we'll keep ours for now and just kind of maneuver around the piles of dirt. We've got a zombie technician up here, so we'll just release this for a second. And dusk, going to work, taking out that technician. We've got some caffeinated chewing gum. We have a hand crank charger and a wood saw. I don't know if we actually have any proper wood saws yet, so we are going to just grab that, put it into our pack, and we're gonna check in here. The hand crank charger I think is good in case of an emergency. How heavy is it? It is a little heavy, so I think we'll probably leave it for now. There's another heavy duty jumper cable here, which is also quite heavy, but we'll grab that for the time being. We'll actually just put it into our pack. Heavy duty jumper cable, there we go. Okay, just a basic radio here. All right, we're gonna grab that. And we've got another technician, so we'll release it. And then we'll quickly take out that technician dusk really doing work tonight and there could be some others down below but i don't think so we have checked i'm gonna mark this place 
as explored because we've you know seen most of it and i don't think there's going to be anything that we really want to stop at until we actually hit this fire station down here we do really need to be cautious though because it could go quite bad quite quickly here i think we are going to try and see if we can fight some things along the way but we want to try and keep those fights as controlled as we can make them safe mode is still turned on at the moment that is that's a rolling trash can okay i thought it might be blood on the ground there but no we're still okay for the moment oh <laughs> okay safe mode hi where are you uh, we've got a zombie necromancer that is here uh right in front of us so we're gonna take a good stab at that one there another good few stabs and it didn't stand a chance dusk actually managed to divert the zombie necromancer's attack and lead them to the ground but did no damage in the process but she was able to kind of redirect them tai chi just yeah wonderful oh it looks like we've got a limousine up here Oh no, it's a school bus. Okay, I see. And we've got a regular zombie. And I am going to have to check safe mode because it doesn't actually seem to be triggering on seeing zombies at the moment. Um, so yeah. Elliot calls out into the night, kill them all and let God sort them out. Yeah, okay, buddy. Okay. And that is a spitter. So we're going to move over towards you, dispatch you very quickly, Dusk. And let's see if there's anything good. Adhesive bandages, bandages and gauze all good stuff and that's a lot of water, water purification tablets um oh and that's a necro boomer was a necro boomer i see oh boy oh and we got a whole party here now uh unfortunately another zombie necromancer which will definitely have to go so as it gets close let's see if we can quickly kill it we've done that and now that boomer we are going to hit that with a mind hammer if we can okay not enough to kill it and over here we have smoke so an ashen brawler maybe it's a little hard to tell we are just probably going to reach out and try and push the boomer away because um that's a little bit much for us right this second and there we have it a zombie smoker so that's going to smoke up the area there ain't nothing we can do to really stop that we could put on our gas mask though how long would it take us to wield it or wear it it's not going to tell us that but putting anything on in the middle of combat generally isn't a good idea so we're just going to send that away from us for the moment we're going to try and get we're just going to try and get some more distance here we've got a zombie null so that's a bit of a problem it's got the droning hum coming around at the moment so we are not going to be able to use our powers so this is where things are going to get a little wild okay <laughs> we all just saw that right elliot just flew across the screen there all right dusk is gonna hang here for the moment but i think if things get too bad we will just get the hell out of here so we've got thick smoke and toxic gas following us now elliot has been poisoned currently dusk is fighting off the dead as they start to round the corner and elliot is continuing his fight over there towards the east dusk is going to round the corner and we've had flesh raptors pop out of the dark well ain't that wonderful we're going to start to move towards elliot as the null i don't know maybe jumps over towards us i'm not quite sure what they did then but now that that null is down we should have our powers back we do good so stepping back towards elliot we're going to try and see if we can hold the ground here as much as we can as okay that's probably what threw elliot around before we've got a zombie brute there and we have a zombie hulk <laughs> or at least we do now okay so we're gonna try and see if we can throw that back away from us i think it just slammed into that one there didn't really seem to do any damage to it that's unfortunate oh boy the hulk is here okay oh god okay smoke everywhere very bad situation to be in we need to just start to move now we need to try and get away from the situation and elliot needs to do the exact same thing we cannot see anything right now but we can hear a lot of noise elliot we need you to make it over towards where we are right now dusk's mind switches into that of her brother and we can see where he is and he's actually in an okay position it looks like he's left behind the zombie hulk and some of the other horrors down below here that's good if he can keep on running away he will be clear but unfortunately for Elliot, um, he is quite a distance away. And really, okay, we can see a little bit more. A noticeable volume of smoke fills your lungs, your eyes watering out the smoke. Okay, let's clamber over this fence here, Dusk. And let's see if we can't make our way up in the direction of where we might think Elliot is. Okay, we can't even climb that there. Okay, ideally we can get some more of our stamina back as well. Oh boy, we've just been hit in the chest 
by a feral somewhere who can somehow see better than us. Actually, no, our chest is bleeding. So that was probably something else that got us there. Do we dare turn on the light? We're gonna have to. Oh, it's a bileless soldier, of course it is. Dusk strikes out towards them multiple times, slashing them as acid starts to pool around her feet. The soldier is dead. We're gonna take that military ID. We're gonna try and see if we can kill this pupating zombie. There are two MRE packages here, which are fun, but we do not have time to mess around with that kind of stuff. We need to find where our brother is. He was up here, kind of towards the northwest. We can see a few dead bodies. We can hear Elliot calling out in the night. If I die, I'm taking you all with me. <laughs> okay, okay, so we need to get up towards him and fast because things are sounding dire. Dusk very quickly kills a zombie runner. As she makes her way into the house here, she can hear fighting still. But where is Elliot? That is the question. We've got more bodies over here, a pupating zombie. Elliot, where are you? There's more noise up here to the north. We don't hear him calling out anymore. There's a body over here in the kitchen. I don't think it belongs to him. There are more bodies just everywhere right now. Where are you? Okay, let's take this one down here and let's just listen. Okay, we are hearing more attacking going on down here. So he could very well be down the bottom. Okay, we're gonna keep on moving here and see if we can find him. Let's just smash that glass. Oh my gosh, Elliot Wood. He's good, he is good. But he's in here with a warehouse spider and a shriekling. Buddy, you really know how to pick these fights, huh? Okay, let's take down this warehouse spider because that's just gonna be a problem otherwise. Dusk taking a few good strikes here. It is kind of trying to get away, but it's very much in the way right now. Let's see if we can't just throw that back against the wall. I mean, we can, but it doesn't do enough here. Elliot, I think, is probably going to start trying to jump away. Yeah. All right, let's take that one out. Let's move into here with Elliot. We're trying to back him up as best we can. Oh, great. And the Hulk is here. Of course it is. Can we get into a position in which we can send it reeling? Yes, I think so. Let's slam that back against the wall here. Okay, well, it did something. And we're to try and do the same thing to the zombie brute that's here. At least it will buy us a tiny bit of time. As Dusk takes out a zombie child, she feels that sense of regret. With her and her brother stand atop the countess here, waiting for whatever is coming out of the night. And right now, we have a cunning feral, among many others. Is Elliot gonna follow us? It looks like he is. Buddy, it's time to go. Um, it's time to go this way, ideally. Okay, he's clambering through the glass right now. We've got a boomer down here. We're gonna pop that thing. And we're gonna see if we can find where Elliot got to. He hasn't left here yet. We're gonna smash that glass, give him an out if he desires. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> we do not want him to get pummeled by this thing. So, Dusk is going to try and see if she can reach out from that location. She's given him a window. <laughs> Quite literally, we've given you a window, Elias. And we really need to hope he will take it now. I don't think he's going to. Um, oh boy. We can at least shove the zombie Hulk back against the wall, doing some damage to it. I think one more good shove should do it. Dusk reaches out, slamming the Hulk against the wall, but it's not enough. Not yet. It is nearly dead though. Mind hammer. Reaching out, she slams the Hulk into the ground with a telekinetic fist. Elliot, it's time to leave, buddy. It is time to get out of there. Or we stand. If you're going to stand with me, buddy, that's good. Either way, I think we just, uh, yeah, <laughs> he's having a time. Um, the zombie Hulk doesn't have anything of interest. What's behind us? Uh, duct tape. We'll take that, sure. Why not? We're here. We are here. Oh boy. And yeah, it's going to take him a little while before he settles down because, uh, yeah, let's examine those wounds. He's taken some damage. He's taken some damage. He will live. Um, let's go and see if we can use an item on you. We don't actually have that much in the way of bandages, so we'll probably just pop an adhesive bandage on your head there. There you go. Your boo-boo's better. And we're getting warm. Yeah, we're at max mana at the moment. We're not glowing currently, but we do have an acidic zombie that's starting to wander on over towards us. Well, it was. And now it's decided to go somewhere else. It's following sound, I think. All the sound that's down there. And Elliot is most certainly still panicking. Hey, buddy, do you want to maybe stop panicking? <laughs> not yet, it would seem. Not yet. Okay, well, we managed to catch our breath just as Elliot started running further away. He has killed a few things, though. We've just taken out a zombie cop. And what do we have down there? A zombie blank. So yet again, this droning hum is going to stop us from using our powers. So we need to be very wary of that. Um, I would like to try and see if we could fight it. Um, 
you know, before we get overwhelmed. Elliot is kind of moving in a direction away from the place right now, so that's kind of good, maybe. But then he could just run into, like, another horde. So ideally, he would just stop doing it. I like how he closed the window behind Dusk. Thanks, buddy. Much appreciated. <laughs> Leaving us here with a devourer, a hunter, and a miracle lurker. This is a practitioner of medicine. Dusk is going to take a few good strikes at them, taking them out. We've got a syringe and nothing else. And we're going to see if we can continue to track Elliot as he just like runs away and closes all these doors behind him. Uh, where is he? Where is he hiding? He's hiding over here right now. Buddy, I really need you to just... Okay, it seemed like that might have actually been a bug. <laughs> but it was a funny bug. Um, yeah, for some reason... There is like an NPC flea command that they can get. And like he was maxed out on the time. So it was like as high as it could possibly go, like three million something seconds. Uh, so he would have been fleeing pretty much forever. But <laughs> I believe that has been overcome now. So we lost our wheelbarrow in the process of that uh, mayhem. But we, but we managed to escape, which is the main thing. The wheelbarrow is still there. We can go back for it if we really need it. We will probably try and pick it up on the way through. Uh, so things are a bit wild at the moment. And this is kind of the, the problem with bringing Elliot out with us is that um, this, this, the man is a problem. Um, <laughs> He, he, okay, he is following us now. That's good. Okay. But yeah, he is a, he is a bit of a problem uh, for us to deal with. I think we're probably going to have to go up and around here. Kind of really just need to make it down towards that fire station there. We may have to just go for one of the other ones to begin with. Oh, joy. Oh, boy. Okay, well, he is sticking with us for now. That's good. Whoa, where did you come from? No idea. Dr. Burns, apparently, is around here somewhere. This is a bruiser zombie. We'll quickly take you down. And Elliot, you're not fleeing, are you? That's good. Okay. Can't see Dr. Burns anymore, but there's a lot of dead in that house there. So let's just stay away from them, Elliot. Let's give them a lot of room. And we'll just start to kind of head down along this way here. Yeah, he is uh, pretty slow moving through here. Just need to wait for him occasionally. Okay. All right, we are making progress now. So I think we're going to try and move through these different houses here towards that fire station. Turn on our safe mode. And actually, uh, I had hostile spotted turned off. Hostile is dangerously close. I feel like we should still get warnings for that. But hopefully now, if we see something, it will alert us uh, with safe mode. <laughs> so we're just going down the outskirts of these houses now. I have seen dead and it did work this time. Okay, so let's turn it back on and let's just try and go around the other side just as soon as we deal with the zombie hunter oh and it looks like we're still being followed by something let's send that smoker away as i think it's really the smoke and the environmental hazards that make npcs kind of go buck wild and speaking of environmental hazards there's definitely one in that building back there so let's stay away from that bloated zombie see if we can just make it down this way instead Elliot, ah, stay nice and close. We've spotted a zapper somewhere. So I just need to keep my wits about me now as a canine tries to take out Elliot. There we go. We're doing all right. You still have your bayonet. That's good. You got some smoked sucker on you. You should be nice and happy. <laughs> and hey, we are nearing on our first destination. Finally, as a feral axe elf just like opens up the window and charges Elliot. Okay, let's just give you a bit of space there, Elliot. And... Let's see, did we actually injure you? We did a little bit. It starts to charge towards dusk. Elliot takes it out though. Thank you, Elliot. Excellent. And it looks like the axe is beyond use at the moment. Okay, that was a shrieker. I don't know if it got a shriek off. Oh boy. It looks like we might have a little bit of trouble here too. So uh, that's what we want to try and get to. Let's maybe try and go over towards the west here if possible. Seems like we're probably going to have to deal with these dead though regardless. Okay, the brute is the biggest problem here. So, oh, come on, Dusk. Let's just breathe for a second. See if we can do a palm strike. There we go. Knock it back. That's good. <laughs> Very good. Okay, Dusk doing some freaking work here. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> All the noise that we've made here has drawn a lot to us. Right now, we're still in control of the situation. I'm just going to see if we can mind hammer the kinetic, or rather, the kinetic, the zapper zombie. We're going to do that again if possible. There we go. Just saving us from getting zapped because we do still seem to get a little bit of a zap. Okay, we've got a SWAT zombie here. We'll take that out. And then I wouldn't mind having a look at some of the bodies here because, you know, we've earned this. Got some tracer rounds here and a grand rifle. It's old the maximum range is pretty good on it though but i think we've been able to find better things than that so i think we're unlikely 
to take that. We will take bandages though, wherever we find them. We've spotted a skeletal zombie and it's dangerously close. Okay, all right, we got some more zombie cops making their way on over here. Elliot's gonna have to deal with some of them up towards the north here. Dusk is dealing with the south. Let's go and boom that boomer, as it looks like we've got a soldier appearing here as well. No, a Kevlar zombie. And, ooh, our stamina is too low for us to do some of that stuff. Unfortunate. Okay, that Kevlar zombie, we're not doing a lot of damage to. We're kind of getting some shots on it. Oh, there's two Kevlar zombies here now. That's really not good. We're doing like one damage a pop here. Yeah, and speaking of pops, well, we went and popped that, didn't we? Okay, let's just start trying to do like the weight and then try and see if we can get the palm strikes off. Elliot is having a bad time right now. I'm not surprised, buddy. I'm not surprised. Okay, we are. <laughs> we're doing some damage, but it's, it's very infrequent. And I don't think we're going to be able to get Voltaic strikes off right now. We have a deep wound as well on our chest, so we need to be wary of that. Elliot is hanging out. He's doing okay, though. All things considered. Let's see. We're going to do a wait here. Okay, we can't really knock it back any further, but we have still been doing damage to them, even if it's just in small allotments. Unfortunately, though, we have smoke here now, and that's really going to complicate the situation for us. So we just need to start to try and move. And Elliot, thankfully, is moving with us right now. Let's just hope that he can keep up a little bit more. Come on, buddy. I know you're ponderous. Okay, I think we're clear. I think we are actually clear of that. We're going to keep going for a bit further, though, before we try and do anything else. Let's actually try and head down towards our destination if we can. We're going to be coughing, spluttering, which means that we are making noise, unfortunately. And now let's see if we can use some um, antiseptic on that deep wound that we got. Here we go. Antiseptic on the torso. Wonderful. Uh, that didn't do it. <laughs> it still aches. Let's put some more on there. And there we go. That's good. We're not going to worry about banishing it just yet because no doubt we are going to run into some more trouble. Elliot, how are your wounds looking? Okay, you are holding up, my lad. And that, that is the fire station. Okay, so let's start to try and find our way around the outside, find the front of it, and get ready to face some uh, firefighters, no doubt, that are waiting for us inside. And sure enough, they were waiting for us. Elliot will eventually join the fight here. Um, I do want to try and see if we can get this door closed, so we're going to try and see if we can move a few things here. Okay, we managed in the end. Elliot, when he gets inside here, he will actually close that door behind him. Uh, let's see if we can clear out the mini zombie firefighters down here first. Okay, we'll try and just bring a few over towards us to begin with. You're next. Okay, here we go. All right, knock you back. Take you back. I'm, I am just trying to pause between turns a little bit more often just so we get that nice knockback palm strike. Okay, and I don't think that they're going to have anything super amazing on them. Um, it's more the equipment that we're able to find here is what I am after. Showers and stuff like that, that's going to be no good. Hello, zombie. We will still have a look at some of their equipment to see what they've been able to uh, grab. Fortunately, all the noise here will have drawn more dead <laughs> towards us. Gosh, so much shattering of glass, so much noise. And it sounds like they're fighting something else outside right now. And I really wouldn't mind if Elliot was able to take care of the kid. Thank you, buddy. Oh, I don't like this. Hazy cloud inside is never fun to deal with. Which means that there is a bloated zombie around here somewhere. Uh, it's over there. We could just try and pop it. Um, right now we don't need to worry about that unless there is some equipment in here and there isn't. We haven't seen anything, so this place is a bit of a bust. We're going to mark that as explored. We do have other places that we can check out around here though. We've got another fire station up here. We've got many that we can actually check out. Oh boy. Okay. So, let's get out of here. First of all, Elliot, follow me please. Okay, looks like he made it out of there okay. We're seeing a shocker brute now over to the southeast. That could be where all the fighting is happening little difficult to tell right now. Um, this city is a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> so, let's see. Next fire station is just up here. There is a hardware store that we can check out as well. And we've got a police station just to the side of us. Okay, so we're going to just travel up along the kind of center of the road here, hoping that we can avoid most of the trouble. Oh, and there's a military surplus store as well. So there is a very small chance that that might still be intact. Military surplus stores are almost always, um, oh boy, looted by the time we start. We feel a sense of loss. So there is a zombie null around here or something like that that is kind of zapping 
our connection to our power. Which, you know, I imagine for Dusk is disconcerting because she's relied on that quite a lot. Yeah, okay, so the Zapper is up by the fire station at the moment. That's not the end of the world. Let's just see if we can maneuver around it. We can. And I think let's just crack that open. Head right inside. Start dealing with the firefighters. And Elliot, you know, if you want to join us, that'd be fine. But also at the same time, I feel like you've earned a little bit of a rest. You've done some fighting tonight, my friend. You've done some. And... We've got more firefighters here, so let's go to work, Dusk. Let's go to work. Take them out. Uh, we will actually check their wallet, see if they've got any decent cash cards. 200 isn't bad. It will add up eventually. Okay, check you as well. Nothing. All right, what do we have? Firefighter PBA mask. So that's going to be a much better mask than the one that we had that we were using. This covers the eyes, it covers the mouth. So we are going to take that instead of the gas mask that we currently have. So we'll go and drop that and let's grab the mask. Firefighter PBA mask and we'll unload our other gas mask. There it is just over on the side there. We'll take that gas mask cartridge with us. Excellent. So we've got some turnout trousers here. They're poor fitting. There's the firefighter helmet, which neither of us are going to be able to wear. I'm pretty sure. At least Elliot wouldn't be able to wear it comfortably. So turnout trousers, what was in here? Firefighter gauntlets, flame resistant gloves, and a first aid kit. Yeah, we will take that stuff. And we will actually take some aspirin and the saline solution. Cool, so not a bad fire station. There's a little bit more to it, but I will mark it as explored now because I feel like we've already checked the stuff that I actually want to check out. No welding tanks or anything like that. That's totally fine. I'm not expecting us to find um, the actual welding rods and stuff like that in fire stations that's probably more going to be garages and things like that which there are garages around here that we certainly want to check out but we've got one more fire station to check out here oh and we do have a garage here as well that i have marked as explored but in saying that i may have left some stuff behind there maybe i don't know would i have left welding rods Possibly, because I wasn't originally looking for them. I think before we go there though, we are going to try out this military surplus store just to see if there is anything uh, of worth still in there. Let's just try and leave the zombie kid if we can. Either that or we leave them to Elliot. It looks like Elliot uh, It's going to do what Elliot does. That's a bruiser zombie and yeah, it looks like this place has been pretty well looked over. Got some ammonia in here. Someone smashing through the glass. There's a zombie blank outside and a creepy crawler what are you oh you're a child okay so yet again that's going to be an elliot job if we can allow for that booby traps ieds mines and you okay that sounds fun dusk let's go grab that book excellent i'm gonna put that into our pack and we're just gonna try and keep on moving here there's the chipmunk in here with us and yeah this kid okay so the zombie blank's a bit of a problem let's just see if we can get out of here elliot are you with me sir you are wonderful good work good work we'll take out that swimmer and we'll move away from here so that is now explored there was maybe a little bit more to it we'll check out the fire station actually you know what before we do let's just go see if the garage has anything i am going to quickly check out this ambulance here though it doesn't look like there's much in it that's fine let's turn on safe mode just for a change and garage let's see okay so this is not going to be anything that we want really sneal sneal <laughs> steel toad sneakers could be useful yes and uh yeah i mean for the most part it's pretty barren right yeah i didn't i didn't really leave anything behind here i mean there's a clamp and this is a engine crank yeah okay all right let's just open up this then the mechanical winch and we'll make our way down towards the fire station all right those are the big doors we spotted a zapper somewhere we'll just wait and see if elliot is still with us there you are buddy okay in we go he'll close up behind us and we'll check the one space that we really actually want to see so screwdriver and a polycarbonate sheet so far so <laughs> Not ideal, unfortunately. Yeah, not much else here. Okay, all right, I'll still check out the back though. No, I won't. There's a lot of smoke in there, so we're just gonna go away from that. <laughs> and I haven't fully explored this, but I feel like we've done enough. I doubt that I will come back here. I'm gonna mark it as explored because there's plenty of fire stations in the sea. <laughs> also, I can't remember if we've explored this museum or not. I think for now, I would like to try and head towards that and then maybe head down towards this garage here because I feel like the garage will be better for us in general. 
Oh, and this dojo here, we've definitely, we've definitely explored that. Yeah, okay, we've marked it. Elliot, okay, he is still with us. Good, good. Okay, Elliot's hearing the crackling sounds. Oh yeah, there's quite a few of them down there. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, and we have actually, ah, uh, I had marked it as explored. Well, that explains that then. Okay, there is an animal shelter that's right next to it. I don't think we're going to be able to do much for those animals. Sorry, sorry to say. Um, we are going to try and see if we can go around here. Elliot's just gotten into a big fight, it sounds like. What the hell, Elliot? We left him for like two minutes. Not even, not even two minutes. Not even two minutes. What are you doing? Why would you do this? Okay, well, this thing here needs to die before we do anything else. Oh my god, no. Are you kidding me? Why would he have done this? He was just following us. I don't know if he charged them. Oh boy, this is a very, very bad position. I don't think there's anything that we can do to help him. We could throw a grenade into that horde. And that's about it. That's all that we can do here is dusk to try and help him. We can try and kill this necro boomer, make a little bit of noise, try and draw some of the horde away. Can we still feel him? Yep, we can. He is still out there somewhere. Okay. And he's a bit further to the north. That's good. Dusk, you can work with that. Okay, oh boy. Ha 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 ha. We've got a bruiser here. We've got a shady zombie. Let's take down the shady zombie first, Dusk. Then we're going to wield one of these grenades. Oh boy. Um, let's quickly change to force unarmed. Because we're not going to try and bash him with the freaking grenade. Okay, and then we're going to activate that grenade. And then we are going to throw that grenade into this mess here. Oh, it's like right here. Okay, and now we run, Dusk. Now we run and we get ready for whatever that explosion does. And oh boy, that's definitely done some work. That is 100% done some work. We can see that there are still more of them there though, so let's get ready to chuck another one. Another grenade in hand. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. Not too close though. Activate the grenade, get ready to throw it, and we're gonna throw it up towards that horde there. And then we're just gonna run. We're gonna run as fast as we can, Dusk, and we're gonna get ready. Oh, that hit a few. That certainly hit a few. Okay. Dusk cannot hear anything now. She detected Elliot up towards the north. That's the direction that she's going to start to head in. Oh my gosh, brother. He is completely deafened, but he's okay. In the darkness, the two grab a hold of each other. Thankful to be alive. Dusk, with desperate panic in her eyes. Elliot, I don't know what the hell you were thinking there, buddy. For now, though... They're still breathing, and that's all we can ask for. Legionnaires, all I can ask of you is to please leave a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. With her ears ringing, Dusk still has a lot more work to do tonight. But my gosh, the mega city, it does not forgive, it does not forget. Any chance it can, it's dead, will rip and tear. Well, for now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome, and until next time, Stay tuned.